Sorry about that intro. According to my calculations, if I do something strange and weird in the very beginning of my video, people tend to watch a little longer. So I gotta do something to make you stay. Today I wanna teach you something. Now every artist, including myself, struggles. They think, what should I draw? I don't know what to draw today. Ah, I'm not feeling it. You get in the funk. Uh, if it wasn't for our YouTube channel here, I probably wouldn't be drawn. I've gone years without drawing anything before. You get in a funk, you don't, you don't know what to draw, you may start drawing something, you hate it, and then you just, you don't feel like doing it, next thing you know you're watching TV. Happens to me all the time. Like I said, if it wasn't for this channel, and you guys watching me draw, I would probably take long breaks too. This is the most I've ever drawn in my life. I draw every day, I paint every day, this is what I do now, I'm fully committed. So it's understandable when you get in those funks. You don't know what to draw. You just really aren't feeling it at all. Now people tell me they see me just whip something up off the top of my head, putting no thought into it. I'm not putting any thought in this video. I'm just kind of just spitballing here. I should have uh, got my, my lines in order, but we're just going to go for it and wing it and see how it turns out. So the way I draw, the way I create these characters, that's the other thing. We're going to get a little sidetracked. Creating your own character, to me, is a lot more important than, like I say in previous videos, oh, you just draw Spongebob the way the creator draws Spongebob, and eh. or you draw Spongebob the way you draw Spongebob and make it look different. Like, I like to create my own characters, but at the same time, I like to draw some of my favorite characters, like Ninja Turtles. I've been drawing Ninja Turtles since I was two years old. It was the first drawing I've ever done. With a pastel, I drew Leonardo. Uh, since I was a little kid, I was just amazed at the way they looked. And ever since then, 30-some years later, I'm still drawing Ninja Turtles, Just, but I put my spin on them. I make the Ninja Turtles look how I want them to look. I don't want them to look like these Nickelodeon, cute, fun Ninja Turtles. I want them to look mean, violent, um, aggressive, dark. So I draw them the way I want to, as if I were to draw a Spongebob, well, I'm going to put a spin on him. I'm going to do like a dark, scary Spongebob, maybe a Spongebob on steroids, something funny to make it look like you see it, you know the person who drew it. But we're not going to get into all this. I already did a video on this. If you haven't seen it, look it up. It's somewhere in the archives. But creating your own character is very important because it shows that you can, you can draw your own thing. You're not... Uh, riding on the coattails of another artist. You can create your own character that maybe one day could evolve into its own comic, its own cartoon. Maybe other people start drawing that character. It opens a lot more doors than to just draw, you know, a, a character somebody else has drawn a million times. And I know that probably sounds super complicated. Like, well, okay, how am I just gonna draw my own character? But what I wanna show you today is the ideas are all around you. Everywhere you go, just you have to open your eyes. You have to be thinking about drawing all day, picturing things in your head. When you go out, walking around, go to the store, and you see something, just think like, oh, that looks cool. Well, what if I turned it into this? And see, the way I like to draw, I like to turn things into little characters. I like to make little monsters out of objects. Give them, all you gotta do, just give them little legs and arms and exaggerate the face, make them look mean. Uh, add a little spin on them. So when you go out, just look around, look at things. I'll give you an example right now, come on. See that beach ball right there? We're gonna draw a beach ball head, put some funky cool eyes on him, give him a mouth. We're gonna give him a body, and let's put a tank top on him like he's at the beach. Maybe a little hat on him, give him a nose, put some sunblock on him, make him look like a tourist, okay? Fruit. Now, I'm not trying to sound like an art teacher and say, draw this fruit bowl, draw them exact, make it look realistic, but make a banana. Give him some eyes. Make him smoking a cigarette. Make him doing something funny. Draw the orange. Same with anything. You see something, give it some eyeballs. Give it different kinds of eyeballs. Give it different little features. Make it look like a human. Fun. Legs and arms, call it a day. Draw the aloe plant. Put a face on the pot. It's a pothead. You can do aloe, you can do any kind of fern, whatever plant you want, bring it to life. Give it a body. You could even draw the trash can. 
Give it a body, give it eyes, a mouth. Make all kinds of different trash coming out of it. Maybe make him a robot and the garbage man's controlling the big trash can robot. See, the ideas are out there. You just have to be creative. And when you look at stuff, just, just picture it in a way of a cartoon. And another thing you can do, it's okay to watch cartoons, look at other pictures to get ideas. Get inspired by the character, by the art style, but don't fully jock the artist's style. Kind of create your own, but take bits and pieces. Like, well, I like the eyes of this character, but I like his body. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is take that, I'm gonna put it on this squirrel that I seen in the front yard. I'm gonna give him, I'm gonna give the squirrel SpongeBob eyes and Ren and Stimpy body and you know, just, and you'd be amazed. And then once you start doing that, you're gonna get used to it. Like, oh, okay, well, that came out cool. Well, then I'm gonna make his friend, which is this, and he's gonna hang out, uh, 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 uh. See, I see the light bulbs when you're watching this. You're getting ideas as I'm talking. So let's wrap this video up. Comment below if you found this inspiring, if it helped you. Throw some ideas at me. Say, well, what if, what if I drew this? Or what, what if you drew this? Or uh, hit that like and subscribe. You may think I'm crazy. You may think I don't make any sense and I don't know what I'm talking about. But if you really listen and hear me out on what I have to say, I'm trying to teach you everything. I'm trying to teach you. I've been doing this for a very long time. I'm trying to give you free art lessons if you want to listen. And I take full responsibility for not being the best teacher. I'm trying to grow this channel. It's going up the hill. But I take full responsibility for making videos where I just wham, bam, thank you, ma'am, I'm done. And you're probably sitting there holding your little pencil or your marker just like, what just happened? I didn't learn nothing. I just watched them draw real quick. So I'm going to break it down, slow it down, and really teach you things. You guys have been supporting me since I started this channel, and so I'm going to teach you what I know and help you one by one if I have to, to get super sweet at drawing. If you made it to the end of the video, you're awesome. Maybe the shaving cream and scream thing worked. I'll do more weird stuff. Just keep watching.